You know, I, I think he kind of always had it in him. You know, you have heard me tell the story before, but he was would always come to practice when he was in kindergarten and first grade, second grade. So he would watch film with me on weekends uh, with the staff. He would come to all the film sessions. So that was so, sort of ingrained upon him for, you know, his, his middle school team, for his AAU teams as an elementary school aged athlete. He scored a lot more, but even then, you know, he moved it and made really good passes. But I think, you know, particularly when he went to play at West High for Coach Bergman, uh, when he got there as a freshman, they were loaded up uh, with talent. And uh, he was the perfect fit for what they were trying to do, get the ball to Wyatt, it was going to lead to the state in scoring, and, and they had so many other talented players, David DeLeo. You know, Wally, Devontae Lane, I mean, Chike, I mean, they had uh, so many good players. Uh, so he, he ran the offense for that team and, and engineered a, a state championship. So he's kind of always been that guy. And then his senior year, uh, they, they moved him around a little bit more. He played a little bit more on the wing and he guarded post guys, which I think gave me the confidence to do that last year when we started having injury situations that you know, required us to, to kind of move them around. And it's great to have that kind of versatility from a guy who knows all the spots and understands how to win and understands that we have the best player in college basketball. Uh, let's get him the ball and we've got other great shooters, great players. And he, he's also been, I think, really good with our young guys. You know, obviously with his brother, he's been like that since they were little, but you know, with, with Keegan, with Tony, with, with Aaron, with Joe Toussaint, uh, really does a terrific job as a leader.